it's Amber here. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. And thank you for coming back if you are a subscriber. I am, for those who don't know who I am, I am a mom of four kids, I'm happily married, stay at home mom, wife. I uh, homeschool two kids, and I have two kids who go to school. So a little bit of a mix of both. On my channel, you'll find inspiration for cleaning, organizing, decluttering, and maybe even a, a glimpse of our day-to-day -day, uh, ins and outs of our life, including exercise, homeschooling, you name it. But mostly cleaning, decluttering, and organizing. Um, so yeah, right here I am making my apple cid apple cider vinegar drink um, with lemon juice and my electrolyte powder. I do this twice a day. Um, it's really good for fat burning. Um, apple cider vinegar has many, many, many health benefits, including nice skin. Um, I got this recommendation from Dr. Berg. Uh, he's a YouTuber. I can link his video below so you can see, um, check out that video on why it's beneficial to drink it twice a day. So I do it usually once in the morning and once at night, this drink. Right now I am getting out my nighttime vitamins that I take every night. I have daytime vitamins and nighttime vitamins and since it's night right now, I'm taking my night vitamins. If you would like to know in another video what vitamins I take, let me know in the comment section below. That way I can make a video on what I take. This is my drawer where I keep all my vitamins for myself and my three kids. My daughter, my oldest daughter keeps her vitamins in her um, room. I was just showing you that was what I was tapping on was my daytime vitamins. Now moving on to my kids' vitamins. Um, they're all lined up here, my essential oils. Um, so now I'm making my kids a nighttime snack. Um, usually my boys are always hungry at night, so um, they, are, they, they are always requesting something to eat at night. So right now I'm making them toasted peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Um, so yeah, this video, this is my nighttime routine. It actually looks different every night, but usually I try to tidy up the night before the next day. Um, and I'm just putting some stuff away right now, getting organized for the night. So get ready. I hope you guys are ready because you guys can get up and clean with me or you guys can relax, whatever sounds good to you. Um, I'm just going to play the music for a little bit and in this video, I'm really hoping that this will motivate you um, to want to clean your own house. Um, so yeah, get ready. Here we go. We're going to start right now. So my daughter is really into selling her stuff to make some money to buy some new things. Um, so what I was just holding up was her um, packaging to her princess dress she just bought. And the other thing I was holding up was um, a little Play-Doh set that she's going to sell. So here's the deal. I'm going to save the packaging for the princess dress she just bought because, well, she has the tendency to buy something and then not really realizing what it was or it doesn't fit. And so I'm just saving the packaging just in case um, because she bought um, some princess shoes, Ariel princess dress and an Ariel princess shoe crown set. And sure enough, the shoes don't fit her. So it's kind of like a Cinderella situation where her feet are too big for the glass slippers, but they're aerial slippers anyways. I thought that was kind of funny. I didn't tell her that, but I was kind of thinking it. Um, so anyways, she really loves the crown and the wand that comes with the shoes. So we might just go ahead and keep that set. 
and maybe just resell the shoes. But the dress does fit her, um, but I wasn't really sure if we had to return it, so I'm just saving the packaging for the dress for now. Um, and then the Play-Doh puppy kit was something she's selling. So we do this, we do this um, thing where um, I try to teach my kids to have very strong decluttering muscles. And she's really into decluttering because I've been doing with this with her for a very, very long time. I have a one in, one out rule. And so it's always kind of been a thing. Um, but she's she's just gotten really really good at decluttering and what we do a lot of times if the thing that we're decluttering is valuable um, She'll help me organize it set it up and we'll take pictures And then we'll post it on Facebook marketplace and she'll get a few dollars for that And then she just uses that money to get something new But what I love about this is that we usually end up give, getting rid of more stuff and a trade to bring some one new thing in. So, um, so this works really well. And then over time, um, I feel like she just has less and less toys. So it's a big win-win and it teaches her to not hoard a whole lot of things that no longer she plays with. Um, so yeah, it's just a little tip for you guys um, to teach your kid to uh, declutter, to make some money so they can get something new. Um, and the more they declutter, the better, right? Um, for everybody. So anyways, that was just a tip I wanted to share with you guys. What I'm doing right now, I am getting out my mommy scrub. Oh my goodness. Mommy scrub. I forgot the name of it already, but it works really well to get off, um, some grease and grime. But I will say that this is caked on from years and years. And I finally, um, decided to go the chemical way and I'll show you guys in here in a minute. Okay, so here it is. I got some easy off oven cleaner. Um, someone taught me, told me about this um, trick that you can use it on your grates. Um, and so that's what I'm going to do right here. And oh my gosh, guys, this stuff is not healthy, but it works so, so good. I was actually shocked how much came off, but I had to do this, um, a few times and still it wasn't perfect. It, this is like years and years and years of oil caked on. So if I really wanted to, I would have to keep reapplying it, but for time's sake, I just did it a few times and it already looks amazing. I would recommend if you are gonna do this, do it in a room that's well ventilated and put some gloves on because this stuff actually kind of does burn your skin. Um, so you will see here in a few clips that, there you go right there, you can see I put a glove on because this stuff does get on your skin and it doesn't feel good. Um, but yeah, you can see the cloth, how dirty it was. It was disgusting and I couldn't believe how much stuff was coming off, how much grease was coming off. So this stuff works really well. If you don't have like fans going in your house, I would maybe do this during the daytime and take it outside in the grass and spray it. That way you're like in a well ventilated space um, because this is a chemical and not healthy for you to breathe in, but it works really well. And uh, I, th I would say once I got all the grease off, I can just switch back to my natural cleaners and then just maintain it from there. But this was years and years and years of just collected grease. So now what I'm doing, I am putting on my sink, my natural cleaner. I use baking soda and some Dawn dish soap and my favorite essential oil for the time. This time I felt like using ellipticus because of the smell. It's just calming and it just reminds me like to relax and get ready for bed. So right now that's the one I'm enjoying the most. Um, so I'm gonna just give that a good scrub down. And of course, um, as you see, there's more dishes, right? That came from the kids' rooms. It's never ending. And I didn't think about it, but usually I go around the rooms and gather the dishes before I start dishes. But on this particular night, I totally forgot to do that. So my husband was bringing me some stuff, which was so kind of him. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to stop talking and you can keep watching.
Okay, so it is now the next day. I, um, my camera died and I thought, you know what? Let's just keep going. Let's make this not just a nighttime routine video, but let's, let's continue into a daytime um, cleaning routine. Um, so this day I um, have to take my two older kids to school. So right now I'm getting ready to make their lunch or their sandwiches. I usually make their sandwiches and then um, um, depending on if I have some fruit available, I will put that in a bag for one of my kids. And then they will um, usually pack the rest of their like snacks and they'll, they usually fill up their water bottles. Um, so here's funny, I actually ran out of bread and I had a heel. So if you just saw that, that was a little trick. I use um, the heel, I put like peanut butter or jelly on the heel and then I like flip it over and put it on the sandwich. That way the kids can't tell that I gave them a heel. So if you are ever in a pinch of the last end of your bread, that's a little trick for you that you could try um, with your kids and they'll never know. So I do that and then, um, yeah, so I'm just filling up fruit for my daughter. My son actually doesn't like fruit. He doesn't like vegetables. He doesn't like fruit. Um, so. He says that fruit makes his um, skin itch and his mouth itch. So I don't know if he's allergic. I'm not really thinking it, it would be a big allergy because I don't see any like breathing problems or skin rashes, but he says his mouth itches. So I don't know, it's really strange. He used to love watermelon and grapes and now he says he can't eat those things. Um, so anyways, I'm moving on. Um, I'm back from taking the kids to school. I'm exercising. So I do this every morning. At least I try to do eight to 10 minutes a day, um, unless I am prolonged fasting, which I will tell you about a little bit later in this video um, about my health journey. But right now I'm doing just a quick eight minute workout because I want to get it in, but I have to move on to getting my kids, um, my younger kids ready for school. So I usually start off the day making them breakfast and these farm fresh eggs are amazing. We got them from my friend, her little homestead farm. Um, they taste so good. They're fresh, they're amazing. Um, and just really nice to know where your food is coming from. So yeah, I'm making them breakfast and then I'm going to have them sit down and get ready to start their math. Uh, we love using Simply Beautiful Math. I think that's what it's called. I'm probably totally hacking the name of that, but it's from The Good and the Beautiful. It's their new math program. It really is simple and we love it so much. It's very effective, but yet it's very simple and quick, something that we could do real fast together. And then there's a portion um, in the back of each lesson where they do independent practice. And it's usually stuff that you already have learned. So they just keep practicing what they learn. And I love that so much because I can literally step away, start some dishes, start cleaning up the kitchen a little bit. Um, but you'll see me going back and forth because there are some new concepts that they are still trying to learn and that's in their independent practice portion. Um, but usually they're pretty good about just getting their independent stuff, stuff done while I work on my stuff. So it's a win-win. I love using the good and the beautiful for our core skills. We use it for uh, not just math, but we also use it for language arts as well. Um, so yeah, I'm just wiping down the kitchen sink and next we're gonna be moving on to language arts. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so a little bit later in today's video, I'm going to show you our girl's closet um, because I'm going to actually declutter. I'm gonna pull everything out of the closet and 
organize it and put it all back together. So we're gonna do a closet clean today. Um, but this organization is a little bit different. It's not the one where there's a bunch of like fancy new bins and we're gonna like redo everything. It's not like that. So we're, we're just basically gonna take everything out of the closet and declutter and just kind of give it a good like reset for a fresh look. I've done this closet a few times and you know, it doesn't really need anything other than just a great reset. So you'll see that in a little bit later today in this video. Um, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so now for the, my most favorite part of the day is having my daughter pick a book and we just snuggle up on the couch together while she reads to me and practices her new words. Um, and then after that, we're now sitting down to do our language arts and she's in kindergarten. So she is still learning how to read, learning how to decode. And right here, oh my goodness, it was a big, big celebration moment because she passed her assessment, uh, which is huge because a few weeks ago she did not pass. So we had to stop all lessons and just keep practicing words that she has already been taught but did not master it yet. So she has been doing fantastic. Oh my goodness. Like her reading in the last couple of weeks has improved a lot. So if you are having a child who struggles with reading, just be patient. Don't rush the lessons and just stop and just keep practicing where they're at because this is not a race to finish your curriculum at the end of the year. And if they don't finish at the end of the year, it's not the end of the world. It's not about finishing. It's about the journey. It's about really helping them so they can learn. That's all. That's what it's really about. It's not about getting to the end. It's about helping them and their journey. So um, anyways, I am now taking my vitamins, my daytime vitamins. Um, <clears throat> again, let me know if you want to know what's in my vitamin box for the daytime and nighttime. I can make a video for you if you guys are interested, but make sure you tell me in the comment section or else I will not know. Um, so now we're just cleaning up our school day. It's kind of at the end of the year. So we're only just doing language arts and math right now. We're keeping it very, very simple. Uh, we do also use unit studies, which we absolutely love 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 and i will do another video on unit studies another time but for now um we're not currently using it because we're just kind of wrapping up the year right now and ju there's just a lot of spring cleaning and other projects going on um there's a lot of things going on at the end of the year so we're kind of taking a pause for now on unit studies but we'll get back to it and as soon as we do we will share a video with you on that but summer is among us uh, among us <laughs> not among us um anyways it's approaching so quickly and we're so excited to be able to start going swimming again and traveling and all the fun things that summer has to offer so yeah we're feeling it we're ready um, we're getting ready and I wonder if you guys are getting ready because summer is fun for the kids and us and it's a time to relax, rejuvenate, um, and have fun with the family. So we're looking forward to that.
Okay, so I'm starting to move on to the girls' room. Gonna do a little cleanup reset for them. Um, and you'll see that the closet that we're working on um, here in just a minute. But um, I'm just taking the time to make their beds, put some things away. Um, that way I can vacuum and mop here. Oh, by the way, if you are wondering what kind of mop and vacuum I use, it is the Tinco. It's a vacuum and mop, um, so it does two in one, um, two in one. So it just saves time and I can vacuum while mopping at the same time. But anyways, I love it so much. And if you're interested, I can leave um, a link for you below. So I'm doing the girls laundry first and I'm gonna move on to the boys room, the boys room next because um, I just want to get it done make sure I have time to get that done before I do the girls closet I do have to go I'm I kind of on a time crunch because I do have to go pick up the older kids so I want to make sure that the boys room was picked up and cleaned first so here is a huge mess we have crumbs and bowls and clothes it is huge mess because the boys and actually the girls but the boys were sick last week um, and so were the girls we had this they had the stomach bug the 24-hour stomach flu and then my son had a pink eye um, and a fever so there was just a lot of vomit and sickies and pink eye oh my goodness it was exhausting and so sad to see them all not feeling well luckily I actually did not or my husband did not get sick and I'm guessing it's because maybe it's all the vitamins that we take. Um, plus, um, I do a lot of fasting, and um, I think that maybe has something to do with not getting sick. Like, so my husband and I were so lucky. Uh, we did not get sick. We just had to help the kids and help clean up all the mess. So here I am cleaning up all their snacking and crumbs. They made a huge mess in their room last week and I didn't really have time to go in and keep up on it. So um, that's what I'm doing here and I'm trying to clean around like computers and wires. And if you guys have like kids that have computers and wires, I think you might know the pain I feel when I'm cleaning around it. It is so hard to clean around wires. It's so frustrating. Um, I hate it. I really, really hate it. If you have, or someone has a solution to this madness, please share that in the comment section. I am all ears because I would love to find a way to make this easier to clean. Um, but anyways, I think I'm going to share with you guys now about my health journey. So for the last few months, starting in the end of December, I decided I'm going to finally take control and get my health back in shape. I have a lot of like gut health issues and inflammation and I was overweight. And um, so I finally decided to take my health seriously. And with a recommendation of Dr. Berg YouTube videos, oh my gosh, my life has changed drastically but you have to listen and you have to put the work in and I've been doing both. So now I'm starting to see the results. I am not 100% pain-free, but for a couple months there, I had no inflammation, but recently starting having some more gut issues. So I started to watch more of Dr. Berg videos and recommendations and I'm, now I'm taking care of that. And one way to do that is by prolonged fasting. So before I get into that, I do regular fasting, um, intermittent fasting, which is a 16 to 20 hour fast. Um, and then I switch to OMAD, which is um, eating once a day. So every 24 hours um, you would eat. And then prolonged fasting is anything 48 hours or longer. Um, I don't usually typically go longer than 48 hours, but the reason why I'm doing this is because um, and I think you should watch Dr. Berg's video on his explanation of this. It's really, really good. But the reason I'm doing this is because it really helps give my um, gut a break, my digestive system a break. And also when you're fasting for long periods of time, 
you create growth hormones in your body, which will help like reverse aging. You also um, get into a state of autophagy. I may be saying that wrong, but basically what it does is that while you're fasting, your body is cleaning up all the garbage in, inside you. So it, it repairs damaged cells. It just gets all the bad bacteria out. And so it's really, really helping me a ton. And plus, on top of all of this health stuff, while I was getting healthy, I lost 27 pounds. Yes, 27 pounds since January. It is now at the end of May, and I'm not done yet. I still have a little ways to go to get to a healthy weight, um, but I can already see such a huge difference, not just in my weight, but in my health, and that is what is so important to me. Okay, so moving on, I, as you can see, I am decluttering the girl's room. I took everything out of the closet first, as you saw that, and then I'm now putting back in their bags and, and the things I know that is staying. So I am giving everything a quick wipe down and vacuum and mop, and then putting more stuff away. And then um, you can see all the dirt from my house. This vacuum mop thing is amazing. Like if you don't have something like this, I would highly recommend getting one. It's just so perfect for those days that you need to just do a quick cleanup. And I always throw it in the mop head thing in the wash after I'm done. That way it prevents like the smell and stuff. So you want to keep it clean each time you use it. This is our decluttering pile. This is what came out of the closet. This is what's all going. It's a lot actually. And for someone who declutters a lot and often, this is a lot of stuff that we found. Here's that Play-Doh puppy kit I was telling you about early, earlier that we're selling. I just put that in the pile. I'm not throwing that away, but yeah, all this stuff is going and it feels so good. It just feels so amazing to do a quick reset, refresh, Here's the results of the girl's closet. It looks so much better. Um, there's even actually empty space. So as you have kids, things just fill up and it's constant. So you always have to stay on top of it. But this is the result. And if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.